Manifest fans lost their minds when the show was canceled, but thanks to Netflix, it was given new life and allowed to finish with a final season to give fans a proper ending. Now, fans are just desperately hoping that it won't become another Lost, and it will give us an ending that is satisfying. There are a lot of theories surrounding the show. Let's check out some that actually make sense. Warning, massive spoilers. First theory on our list, there are two realities. This is a very interesting one. This theory suggests that there are two realities that are existing at the exact same time. One where the plane fell and all the passengers died, and another where they flew through the storm and landed safely. It suggests that passengers are in control of which outcome becomes the final reality. Each time they do something, they become closer to one of the endings. As some fans say, it's like Schrodinger's cat. As long as you're not sure of the outcome, either possibility can still happen. For example, when San V killed the Major, the tail fin surfaced, putting them in danger. Taking a step forward, the ending where the plane did crash becomes the truth. Or the fact that when Cal does what the callings want from him, he comes back as an older boy, as if it is the truth that the plane landed five years ago and he had the opportunity to grow up from the time onward. Next is that Cal beat the death date. The theory is that Cal would no longer have a death date and even possibly no longer have callings either. He did what the calling wanted in season three and disappeared while doing it. Then he came back all grown up, like he lived the five years since the plane had disappeared. He didn't really look super shocked when he came back, so it is even possible that he saw how those years would have been if he lived. This could mean that they could all individually beat the death date, and it wouldn't depend on the lifeboat to all do what the callings want of them. Next is that it is all one big simulation. Let me just tell you, if this theory turns out to be the truth, I for one will be severely ticked off with all the hours I've wasted watching this show. It's like reading an entire book and it ends with, it was all a dream. Just terrible writing if you ask me. But at the same time, it wouldn't be the first time that a series did go in a direction like that. For example, Life on Mars had a similar plot twist. And if you look at the theory without getting angry, then it does have some merits. It could all be one big simulation where some programmer is messing with these people, giving them difficult tasks in the form of callings, just to see what they'll do. It's possible, but I still really hope that this is one theory that just turns out to be completely false. Another theory is that the Major is another character. One interesting theory suggests that time travel could be involved in all of the mysteries of this series. And there are two different theories that suggest that the Major could actually be one of the other characters and that their timeline just got a bit mixed up. One said that Angelina is the Major and that she raised Eden Stone as her daughter. Another suggests that the Major and Michaela have the same fashion sense and wear the same types of accessories and that Michaela could be the major. That is why Jared falls for her daughter so easily, because she reminds him of Mick. But this all just seems like a step too far for me. If either of these characters were the major, then how are they all now living in the same timeline? How did Michaela end up becoming evil? It all sounds just a little too confusing, even by manifest standards. Next is that Beverly is a villain. Now this one theory I really love. It would be such a great twist, and now I'll kind of be disappointed if they don't make it happen. Michaela and Zeke have been taking care of Beverly since her husband died, and because Michaela's best friend and Beverly's daughter, Evie, died years ago, she has dementia, and the kindness that Mick and Zeke both show her just demonstrates how kind they really are. But there are some fans that believe that Beverly might have a much bigger role than we realized. This theory points out that some of Beverly's actions and words have led to some pretty dark things happening happening in the series. For example, she's made Zeke very insecure about his relationship with Michaela, thanks to her comments about Mick and Jared. Now this could just be a complete accident since she still remembers Mick being dating Jared, or it could be something darker. Beverly was also the person who told Angelina that Eden was her guardian angel, further encouraging Angelina's obsession with Eden and leading to her doing a whole bunch of messed up stuff. Now again, this could be just a sweet old lady making a nice observation but it could also be an evil mastermind stirring up trouble. I know which one I would prefer it to be. How about you? Were you excited when you heard that we were going to get a final season of Manifest? Do you think one more season is going to be enough to wrap the story up in a satisfying way? Share your opinions with us in the comment section. We love to hear from you. Next up, we'll check out the theories about a surprise twist about who actually stabbed Grace, about her necklace, and so much more. Stick with us. Another one is that Cal stabbed 
snapped Grace. First up, how dare they? Cal would never hurt anyone that he loves, much less his mom, who has always protected him. I don't care that he changed ages. He would never change so much that it would make sense for the character. But at the same time, it is a theory that isn't entirely impossible in the plot of the show. It could have happened. We all kind of just assume that Angelina is responsible for Grace's death, but we didn't see the actual stabbing take place. We don't know for sure what happened. As one fan said, that when Cal went to lie with Grace in her final moments, his body language and emotions seem more likely remorse than just straight up sadness, and that is definitely true. But I have my own feelings about that. I think it's a case of balance of universe, and when one person lives, another must die. He knows that the fact that he returned meant that someone else had to die. So, he feels responsible for his mom's death even if he didn't stab her. But at the same time, that also means that if all of the passengers were to beat their death day, that a whole bunch of other people would need to die. That doesn't sound super fair either. Next, Grace will return. This is the last season. How could the show really kill off such an important character right before the final season? Will Grace return? I really hope so. I know she seemed completely dead, but so did Zeke when they killed him. But they were able to save him in the end. And there was one little detail that a bunch of fans noticed that might be the way they will do it. Grace had worn a blue stone sapphire necklace in every single episode in every single season since the show started. I mean, it could just be a piece of jewelry that she loves, but the fact that it is sapphire is just too good to ignore. What have all of the important artifacts had in common? Sapphire. During tests that Sanvi and the team ran on the piece of Noah's Ark, the tail fin, and even Ben's hands, the only strange thing they ever had in common was the deposits of sapphire. So you really want to tell me it's a complete coincidence that the wife, mother, and sister-in-law of the survivors of the plane have been wearing a sapphire necklace all of this time? I can't believe that. Hopefully it has some important meaning and they can resurrect Grace so the entire Stone family can finish off the series together. Lastly, the Callings are evil. A fan theory that has been around a lot has been that the Callings aren't as innocent as they seem and that they're actually evil. In the show, most of the main characters believe that the Callings are there to show them what the right thing is to do and how they can become better people. But we don't really know what the Callings are or what they want. Neither fans nor the characters really understand the Callings yet, and there have been times when following them has had some terrible outcomes. Cal believed in them completely, but because of that, he trusted Angelina and now his mom is gone and Eden is in danger. Could the Callings all be evil, and could that mean that all the passengers are going to be doomed in the end? I don't know, but we will soon find out when the last season drops. Do you have any more theories? Share them with us in the comments. Thanks for watching.